the special effects supervisor for Iron Man and Tron just literally told me flat out, I don't know what you're doing, but I want to be your product designer. Hey guys, my name is Sada, here with Yes Theory to show you a little magic today. I'm a music artist and I make wearables. The idea came from Michael Jackson. You know, he had a pretty novel glove, but if all of his movement had functional purpose. So if he did something like this, it like stutters the drums or it affects his voice. I ended up doing some, some research to see if there are existing things. People have definitely done their own DIY versions, but not quite the way I was imagining. So I just ended up drafting up something and forwarded it to one of my homies. She was like, this is very doable, and just brought it to life. I went to school at Berklee College of Music, and the first week in my dorm, my dad calls me up and is like, oh, actually, we're not gonna support your like, schooling career. I was like, dad, I'm actually like here. <laughs> like I'm inside the <laughs> <laughs> So I ended up reconnecting with my mom and she was like, know what? I'm just gonna turn up this year and you're gonna have a first year at Berkeley College. That gesture still has affected me to this day. I only went to Berkeley for one year. I continued development with the glove and one of my songwriting friends connected me to Condé Nast and I ended up doing an interview with them. I'm a multimedia music artist that goes by the name of Sata. And following that, the special effects supervisor for Iron Man and Tron just literally told me flat out, I don't know what you're doing, but I wanna be your product designer. I eventually got on a call with him and I was trying to explain to him like, I'm just working out of my room. But he didn't seem to mind. He, he told me that he really sees the vision. That kind of shifted where I thought I was going. So I ended up founding Sata Tech, that is the umbrella for my wearable products, as well as um, some artificial intelligence. Most people think I'm going to go to school and master a craft, and that's what you do for the rest of your life. To me, if there's something I've never seen before, but it excites me, I want to learn it. And I feel like that's something that we don't instill a lot of kids with. Just because somebody doesn't understand doesn't mean it's not right for you. Move confidently with what you feel. Hell yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Feel that? Doing something, doing something good, doing something so me, living in a 21st century.